Hello guys, and welcome back to part four of my What Remains of Edith Finch playthrough. Last episode, we found out that Walter was actually living under the house the entire time. So we're going to walk on these same tracks that I thought it was he died. I heard the stories for myself. You are hearing these stories for yourself. I found out what happened to everyone else. You're literally discovering that right now, girl. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. I think it might be what's really causing them to so die. Much in a family curse. We made it real. Oh, his shrine. Yikes. I mean, the curse seems pretty real to me, girl. Seems pretty real to me. those chairs those are chairs I don't know if I should even be writing this why are chairs in the trees What's maybe that? it'd be better if all this just died with me oh are you gonna die soon but I thought you should know about your family. Who are you writing to? You should know about your family. And the history you're a part of. The history you're a part of? Wait, are you writing to your brother Milton? Did you... F Wait, no, because you just said... Possibly two. Did you find Milton then? Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I am super lost. I think the people in these stories believed them for what that's worth. Yeah, because they had so many people they loved taken away from them. Of course they believed it. How else do you explain so many people dying but a family curse? Uh... Okay, we can't go this way. We only go straight. And when you look at the house, that history of imagination and stubbornness and madness, any of it seems possible. Mm. Mm. You're not wrong. I mean, you're... Someone built tunnels running throughout the house, and there were secret passageways, so... It's not... Completely off the rocker. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. Uh, what kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? Yikes, that's grim. Youch. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... The what? pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three Ooh. of the gerbils are mine, and two had been my fault. Oh, these are all of Edie's birds, and where's Bob? Bob was her snake. But there's Bob. Wait, why is it a dog? Do I also have a dog named Bob? What was Shotzi? Oliver, Shadow, Christopher. Christopher the fish died! That was Molly's. Lucy, Daisy, Charlie, Tucker. Damn, you guys have a lot of pets. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Molly Finch. Oh, these are everyone's graves. Molly, because she thought she... Oh, because she thought she turned into a cat, and she thought she turned into an owl. I think that's supposed to be a... I don't... Oh, that's just the tail. I thought that was meant to be like a tentacle. Molly Finch. Calvin. Oh, because he wanted to fly. Sven. Because he wanted to... No, Sven... Died from building the uh, slide. Edie. How did Edie die? We haven't read her story. Something with books. 
How did Edie die? Walter, the train. Barbara. So, wait, did that mean I miss Edie's? I... What, wait, did I miss something? I couldn't go up into the... Um, upper area. Was that where Edie's shrine was? I tried. And Barbara's. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on. But for Edie, the past never went away. Hmm. Poor girl. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Is that the house? That's the old house. That's just grim to look at. Look at where your grandfather died. He said she dreamed about the old house every night. Damn. Well, was I meant to look more into it? No. Well, no wonder this family seems like that depression. They were surrounded by death all the time and just staring at their old house. Oh, hey, it's another path. Whose graves are these? But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. Sam Finch. Her dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Gregory. Gus Finch. Oh, Gregory was the baby who was a year old. <gasps> Sam. Who's Sam again? Sam. Okay, Sam is Calvin Barbara Zamali's brother. And Gus is their son? Someone's son. She Sanjay. lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Milton? Milton's the... Is that a paintbrush? But he disappeared. We never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. Oh, that's nice. Lewis has a crown. Why does Lewis have a crown? Sanjay has nothing. Was Sanjay even a part of the family or is he just married into it? Weird. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. So many things I wish I could ask Hardly you. Thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. Well, we're not figuring out much. Just that your family got a fucked up history. Uh, but looking back on it now. There's chairs and a table up here. Oh, are we going way up high? To the sky? Up, up to the stars and dancing? Be so much climbing. I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. <gasps> girl, 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 get off that tree. Get off that tree. What the hell? You came out here by yourself, 17 years old, and you're pregnant. You're not going to step over that glass. I'll tell you that. We are playing safe now. Oh, what the hell? Wait, can we go that way? Uh, will you die if we jump off this? Oh, we can't even go that way anyway. Why? Oh, wait. You're riding this to the person, to your unborn baby? Uh, don't walk over the glass. Don't walk over the glass. 
I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. Like what? Oh, open the slide door. They were both pretty intense. Yeesh. Um. Uh, yep, I was right. Sam is a Duck Dynasty type of guy. Sam spent his life shooting photos, but Mom said he got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. What was he afraid of? Was it? Did he die of something related to the camera? Sam. Oh, oh here's a wedding ring. Taking a picture of himself. Taking a picture of someone sleeping. That's creepy, dude. Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Oh, I can look around. Mm -hmm. What? Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's a hunting trip, Dawn. Shooting is strongly encouraged. Oh. It's too early, Dad. Did she shoot him? What am, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to look at? I feel like she shot him. Oh, every time I look at her, she puts the book down. Sam, you perv. Even though that's your daughter, but I feel like you probably looked at people with this camera. Propane. You didn't do anything with the propane, did you? Did you shoot propane? I'm just coming up with ways of how they died. Oh, Perfect. I could take a picture. I didn't know that. It's gonna rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Oh, I can just take a picture of anything then. Please just take the damn picture. Hey, language. Yeah. Don't talk to your father like Never that. Never forget this weekend, Dad. That's the spirit. Okay, got it. Oh, I didn't finish. I'm gonna take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. A camera's older than you are. I mean, your daughter's more important. I'm literally not taking this doesn't show how good my photography skills are. I'm just seeing if there's any interaction if I take right, pictures Dad, of anything. It's starting to clear up. Still freezing though. Uh where are you, Dad? Oh, I was gonna take a picture of that. Okay. Uh, oh, I can look this way. Bird. Take a picture of anything over here. This is a weird game. I could take a picture of the lake. It's not in focus, but it will. Wait, is that a limit? Hold on. I haven't even been checking if that changes. On the right hand side, it's still at eight. No, it's not changing. I don't know what I'm Definitely supposed to do. not have drunk all that coffee. Did I take a picture of that? Yeah, you're urinating, dude. Nothing quite like being outside. Hmm. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> That's a keeper. Hold still while I take a picture of you. I'm just saying, I'm not always going to be here, Don. You'll need to remember this stuff, if you want to survive. I'll be fine, Dad. You know who else thought he was going to be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. The entire family. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. You've been in the house too long. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Like what? Fucking a cup? Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. Calvin, the one who died when he was a little boy? Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. We found an old logging trail. There were deer everywhere. I'm just taking pictures of anything right now. I Ooh. bet if I could remember where that trail was, we'd spot a buck for you in no time. A buck? Give me 
me a minute to check the map. I want to make sure it's in focus. <laughs> You don't need to waste any more film on me, kiddo. Then what do I take a photo of? Tell me. Let's see. I feel like I could just take a photo of anything and they'll talk. Maybe. Heard. Dad. Oh. Good eyes, Don. Oh. Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of it. Dad, I just breathe. I feel like she's gonna shoot him. I like got intertwined in the story. Don. He's gonna shoot her eye. Or she's gonna shoot his eye. We'll need to be strong. She shot him. Great shot, Don! Uh, your daughter's crying, dude. Uh, are you proud of yourself, Sam? Don't tell me I have to take a photo of her crying over the fucking deer that she shot. I can't do that. Don't make... If you do this, dude, you're twisted. Oh my god, they made I'm me do it. I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? You're gonna- are you gonna make me take another one? Oh, I'm controlling him. Sorry, Don, just gotta reset the timer. Oh, I don't wanna take another photo- I didn't realize I was controlling him, I thought it was still the camera. Then I started moving around the sim. Wait. Reset the timer, are you gonna- Oh, I'm playing as him. And then he's going to take a photo with her. How do I get up? Dad, it's twitching. I think That's it's totally so normal, Doc. Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about Dad! it. I was right about the camera. He died something related All to the these camera. stories, that's the one I wish most that my mom had told me. Whoa. I mean, like, you're, you're fucking taking pictures with your daughter crying, so you're kind of a dick. The fuck? Yikes. Poor girl. Ooh, where's it? Oh, nope, before we go through here. Nope, hold on. Before we go through here, I want to check around his place. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Um, yeah, he was a fucking hunter. K. Who's K? It's K. Oh, K is his wife? Oh, is that why they had a K Finch? Is that why they had a wedding ring right there? They got a divorce or she died? I can't go through here. Okay, now we can go through there. So, yeah, I think the leaves are people that they like married. All right, it's making it's kind of making more sense. Where should I explain this? Girl, you're pregnant and you're going After through this, Sam you're died, gonna get his festus. My mom it. and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. I thought they weren't close. I thought you said they fought a lot. Oh, Gregory's the baby that died. Ah, it's a crib. Gregory and Don. Did Don sleep next to Gregory? No, it's a baby death. Mm. Divorce contract. Dear Kay. 
Oh, uh, I, I was the right. Way Gregory used to laugh. Divorce. He thought he was alone. Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. Oh, we're playing as a baby. The rest of us don't. I'm controlling this duck. Oh, wait. Also the music? When I move the frog, it's moving the duck, but it's also controlling the music. Gregory. Oh, I didn't mean to throw that. Now I'm the frog. Um, okay, so obviously this kid is imagining. I can jump. Hold on, sweetie. Are you leaving your kid unattended? Hello? Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. He drowned. The baby drowned. Ooh, duckies. I what he, saw. he drowned. What his world was like. You're leaving your baby unattended. What kind of mom are you? I don't care if it's just for a second. Don't leave your fucking kids unattended. Especially in a bathtub. You reminded me so much of Calvin. Like he was a year old and you left him in the bath. Lost in his imagination. Oh. Oh, it's jumping up in the air. Oh, more toys. So if I do this, I jump higher. Whatever it was, he saw. Oh. Sure made him happy. Knock that in there. Uh, you jump me up higher. No. Oh, the ducks have to, like, hit me. <laughs> this freaking music. The fact that I know he's gonna die, it's not helping with this happy music. What are those words? Do I have to jump on this guy? Oh. Oh, I have to knock down the soap? Wait, so maybe he's gonna choke from the bubbles? I have to get that. He's gonna drink it? No, it caused more bubbles. Why are you worried about a baby being too happy? You should be worrying about your fucking wife or ex-wife not looking after a kid. Okay, get me out. I know you did everything. Never mind. He doesn't drown. Maybe if I hadn't caught that night. Damn it. Uh, oh, I'm still the frog. <gasps> Wait, is that thing still plugged? Well, it's gonna have me turn on the water. Wait, how did the water go down if it's still plugged? I wish you could have told us. <gasps> I knew it, 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 I knew it. No, 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 no. Oh. Oh my god. There's so much I don't understand. About Gregory. We're a frog now. About everything. Uh, so what happened wasn't your fault. Yeah, this is kind of me imagining like Molly when she was dying, like she imagined things because they were kids. And he probably turned green from drowning. I want you to be happy too. Good luck, Kay. Love Sam. Fuck. I... I knew it, but I didn't want to believe it. <laughs> okay. I mean... Oh, God. oh, we're just gonna get right into another one. Give my heart some time to recover! Hey, there's a pole. 
I was gonna be like, why is there a stripper pole next to a baby's bed? <laughs> and a punching bag. I can't imagine my mom ever writing poetry, and yet... And yet what? A poem for Gus. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. Okay, wait. I am i don't want to, like, talk over her, but I use this. I'm controlling the kite, and I can do that to mix up the words. That's kind of cool. Okay. What's this say? Oh, I'm going faster. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. Uh, him and his father had issues. Can I not pick up these words? Me. I tried to talk him out of it, but though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom or the words that. Oh, he didn't like the fact that his dad was remarrying. So, who is Gus's dad then? Gus's dad is... Oh, was Sam also... Oh, so Sam had multiple kids? He had Gregory and Gus and Don? No, because Don said that her and Sam were close. Oh, well, maybe he did have Don as a kid. Yeah, because Dawn was the one who shot the buck. Okay, so yeah, the fact that he remarried after Kay and him were divorced, he didn't like. Uh, where am I going? Am I going over here? Oh, I guess there were words. When the photos came, Dad ordered him to come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign, held up his middle finger. <laughs> nice. There's a storm brewing, Mr. Wayne. Were you electrocuted? Cause of thunder. And this kite. Up and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. He was electrocuted. Yep. Okay, we go on the stereo. I don't know where to go. It's like not giving me clues. The tent? Do I go somewhere near the tent? I'm touching the tent. Hi, I'm ruining your wedding. No. Oh, down here. Yikes. Oh, the wind's picking up. Um, are those things gonna crash on you? Oh, they're gonna come crashing into him. I have to pick up more shit. The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, make the music louder. You should really get your kid, even though he doesn't want to go outside. He shouldn't be outside playing in a storm. Ah, oh, don't get electrocuted. I can't tell what's gonna happen. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Storm's picking up. I wish that. Do you all... What happened? I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. Oh, I'm still controlling. Oh, fuck! But I didn't. Until we found you. Well, I she expected him to be her. struck by lightning. Mom told me once if I was a boy, they were going to name me Gus. It's kind of depressing. Fuck. Wow. Well. He was disobeying his father, but such a neglectful parents. 
that's what I'm finding, like, the main theme of all of these kids dying. Like, I don't know if it's just, like, a family curse, but Molly died because, well, from at least what I believe, she starved because Edie didn't feed her and sent her to bed without supper. No one was watching Calvin, even though they were calling him in. No one was watching him on the swing, and he died. Gregory K wasn't watching him in the bathtub, so he died. And no one was watching Gus, or told him, well, this, his dad told him to get inside, but no one was watching him when he was playing outside. All of these kids are dying because the parents are being neglectful. The parents are killing these kids. It's not any curse. They're just bad parents. Also, we have like about four more people. Just, wow. Yeah, it's, this isn't a curse. This is just bad parenting. Uh, something up there. Oh, we can't go through the door, though. Oh, I want to read this. Raise flag. Breakfast. Quiet time. Routine. So, Don and Gus were brother and sister. Oh, so that's why Mom she said Mom didn't died. write poetry. Because that was her reading it. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Oh, she just went up on the Tuesday. Oh, is this your mom's room? Oh, she was into religion. She was a religion religious. was another thing my mom never talked about, but I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Oh, well, it explains with a lot of death. That probably explains why she turned to religion. Fly to India. Pack. Wait. She wants a copy passport for some for volunteer center. She met with relief representative after school teaching. Don finished. This is her journal. Don Sanjay. Are those your parents? She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Mm, those are your parents, but they're both dead. Those are your parents, but they're dead. <laughs> well, let's take a nose. Uh, it's your mama. Thank you. Oh, she was like a volunteer type of woman. She believed in helping the world. <laughs> religion, science, math, history. She was into religion, but she was also into math and science. Interesting. Nothing wrong with that. Oh, hey, it's a stripper pole. Uh, do we slide down it? You oh no we can go there well, well I want to know if the stripper pool does anything was your mom into stripping was your mom a stripper no it just literally has us go back okay the stripper pool did nothing did your mom have to hoe out to put you through school Edie or yeah Edith my mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Louis was born a year later. Ooh, they had sex. Your mom got busy. Died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. How'd your dad die, though? I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. Oh, so your mom moved back in with her mom after your dad died. Wait. Like, I need see kids in the house again. This is your garden, Milton. It's like a castle. Milton's the one with the crown, right on his grave. Or is that Lewis's? I, I feel like it'd be Milton's because that looks like a castle. Mint, thyme, sage, and basil. Lewis was into cooking. And Dawn's hers was just basic. She had basic bitch. This is kind of pretty. The house though. had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. She used to big. She used to things getting bigger. 
And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. Edith Lewis Milton. Mrs. Finch. Oh, was this... Oh, Dawn, like, ended up moving her workspace here. Why not just keep it in your bedroom as a kid? Well, maybe you wanted to grow up. Odin Finch. Oh, you did a report on your family? The beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday, when Edie gave him a castle. Oh, that's pretty cool, though. This is his castle. Wow. Look at, like, what this family goes through just to, like... Not only, like, the negative shit this families go through, but, like, they had their family build all of this for their kids just to, like, escape. That's pretty cool. You know, aside from the death stuff going on, but... Damn. But guys, I actually think I'm going to end the episode there. We got through a couple more deaths, a couple more kid deaths. But we found out it's the parents that are killing these kids. Not directly, indirectly, they're killing these kids. Just being neglectful. We found out the reason. But yeah, when we come back, it looks like... Milton is going to be the next person we find out what happened to. He's the person who went missing. So I guess we'll find out exactly why he went missing. Or maybe give some context as to what happened on that day. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. And see you guys next time. If you will tell me I'm the only